what has happened now is they've connected the, the sewage line from our uh, living unit into the, con um, the tank. Um, and it is done with a very nice slope according to your plumbing standards that you get a nice movement of the sludge within the pipework. Um, the level of the toilet is just right so that you don't get a back, back flush of, of the toilet as well. So when it flushes, it flushes clean. Um, also what was done to um, assist with the flushing of the, the toilet system was a vent valve that was done outside of the container and then a vent valve at the tank as well to ensure that there's any air entrapment that there's, there's a free flow of, of the sludge movement and the slurry into our unit. Um, this levels of the, the tank has worked out very nicely. Our fluid level is roughly about here um, so that you can introduce all your additional organic um, material whether it's garden clippings or our feeding sludge or food waste um, into the tank unit. Um, the only thing we could have maybe done different but we were constrained with that um, big rock that was sitting at the bottom of the tank is to maybe install the tank a slight bit lower so that your fluid levels are, are a little bit easier to manage. Um, what is also done with this unit, they've introduced a second tank for the grey water, which will incorporate the rainwater harvesting and uh, the water from the, the washing basins and then the overflow from our biogas digester, which will then be used as a irrigation um, uh, water flow.